Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, for the longest time I have been getting requests to do longer videos and also something a little darker uh, lighting wise. Um, I know many of you are used to other channels that have sometimes an hour long session and they use dark lighting, which I realize that probably helps you sleep a little better. Um, so I thought I would do something a little similar in my style. Um, I'm just going to do sort of a walking meditation. I have a lot of different tools and things laid out around me. So whatever I feel guided to, I'm just going to walk over and pick it up and use it. And I uh, hope you're able to enjoy this. If this video goes well, then I will consider doing more in the future. And the name I came up for this, uh, actually I had two names. The first one, the one I used, Reiki Spontaneity. And the other one was Random Reiki. So I kind of like the first one better, but uh, what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know which name you like better. So I'd like to start off with a little clearing and I've actually used this in some past videos but I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet and this is the first time I've used this and I'm going to read what was sent to me. This is a, a Himalayan smudge stick and it says our calming and healing Himalayan smudge stick or Himalayan if you like depending where you're from contains herbs gathered in Nepal and blended to soothe and promote healing. Sage summons divine energies and camphor dispels malevolent thoughts and spirits. Sorry, I'm having a difficult time seeing this. Chamomile soothes and releases tensions. Sandalwood, which you can really smell the most, grounds energies and calms the soul with its sweet smell. And this one I'm not familiar with. Hopefully I can pronounce it right. Arta, Artemisia evokes visions and lemongrass sweetens and brings clarity of perception. So I'm just going to light this up. We're going to clear and bless our space. This has an amazing aroma. You can just, you can smell each individual thing that's in it and then it just kind of comes together in one. I don't think I've experienced anything like this before. This one's a little bit harder to light. It is very dry, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe the way it's packed in, it does take a few minutes to light up but I promise you it is worth the wait. It's just such an amazing smell. Just encircling you with the infinity symbol. Just clearing out, removing any congested energy anything that might be clinging or attached. Just going down the front of your body and please hold your arm out. I'm just going to go down and around your arm as well. Put your other arm. Mm, doesn't that smell amazing? No, just down the front of your body. Down your chest, your abs down your pelvis and your legs, just down the sides as well, all the way to your feet, and just behind you as well. Okay, I'm just going to put this down here and hopefully the smoke will still keep coming up and you can enjoy that. And the next thing I really like to use, uh, I think I've only used this one other time and I've had it for a while now, 
It is great for EMF protection. So with all the technology out there, I know we need this more than ever. So I'm just going to hold it like this and also use the point and just project the frequencies and energies of this mixed in intertwined with Reiki. So just taking this around. Ashantu uti in the eti. Hata taietai. Astu shantu. Just opening the channel, bringing in the Reiki to settle in, calm your breath, just open your mind, your body, your heart to receive. Just bringing in the desirable energy that we want and breathing out what we don't. Bringing in, pushing out, breathing in, and pushing out. Charging up my hands, calling in Reiki through time and space, all dimensions and realities and timelines, infinitely and eternally traveling, Hushana ha utu o hanati astashan tu hatati nai astasha tu utu. Ricky closed you now, giving you exactly what you need. Ricky always knows where to go and what you need the most, though it is okay to set an intention. Hashan tu tu. Ocean to do, Ocean to Natataye to do. Ricky flow, Ricky flow, Ricky flow. Using the power symbol, Chokure, Chokure, Chokure. And balancing out the mental, emotional with Seheki, Seheki, Seheki. Seheki. Oshantu. Okay. I thought we might pull a few cards. It's been a while since I used this deck. one of my main decks. Those of you that have been with me for a while know this deck. I'm just going to do a gentle shuffle. Let's ask for guidance. What card needs to be heard the most right now? Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace around the world. Beautiful and so very true. Through prayer and meditation, 
I create a ripple effect of peace around the world. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect around the world. And the purple matches my shirt. Okay, let's pull another card. Presence of love will always cast out fear. The presence of love will always cast out fear. The presence of love will always cast out fear. And a third one. I usually prefer even numbers, but when it comes to cards for some reason, Two just doesn't feel enough for me. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about how I see the world. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about how I see the world. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change how I see the world. Take a deep breath. a little pulling, feeling a little bit of heavy, dense energy out there, guys. If you're willing to let go, I will pull it from you. If you want it back, you can always create it, but I say let it go. Just putting it down into the earth, allowing it to be transmuted into something beautiful and useful again. Okay, let's see what else I have. So this little bag of something that was given to me a couple years ago um, by one of my Reiki clients. And it sort of works like the cards, um, where if you want, you know, a meditation for the day or an affirmation. Each one of these stones has a word written on it. You can just keep it with you for the day or however you want to use them. So I ask for three again. What three words need to be heard most right now or need to be implemented in our daily routine? I'm going to go ahead and pull three, and then I'll tell you what they say. And one more. Okay. The first one I pulled was dream. And I'm hearing not to be afraid to continue to dream. Depend, and regardless of how things are looking in the world right now, we should continue on with our life as much as possible, keeping it regular, or I don't know what normal is anymore, but I'm hearing don't be afraid to dream. Dreaming is how we create our reality. So if there's something you've been wanting to do or you've been thinking about or holding off, 
dream. Can you continue to dream and then take action? The second one I pull was peace. Peace is something we need to experience as much as possible every day. I know how stressful things are and can be. And just like dreaming, this is something we need to incorporate every day. Even if it's just three to five minutes a day, taking time for yourself or maybe bringing, bring, excuse me, bringing peace to someone else. And the last one, believe. Trust and believe. There's always hope. And I'm also hearing question your beliefs. What are you believing in that may not be true? There's so much illusion and it's easy to get sucked into it. Take the time and review. Sometimes if something doesn't feel right, question it and look into it and see if what you believe is actual fact, truth, fiction. So dream, peace, and believe. And it's been a while since I've used the selenite wand, so let's pull this out. I kind of feel like I need to activate it or something. Just sweeping this down over and through your luminous network. Brushing up and out. Any last bits of heavy, dense energy that might be attached or clinging, just getting rid of those. Just going down to your feet and pulling to the top and releasing. And just over the top of your head. Releasing. And just, if you're comfortable, put your arms out like this. And I'm just going to come down the front of your body and just go over one arm and then out. Hashana u tu u, hatatai eshen tu u tu u. Okay. And I thought I would pull one card from the Spirit Messages deck. This deck is really growing on me. I just got this, I think, a month ago. And I was using it every morning after my meditation just for fun and to get to know it a little better. Oh, card jumper. <clears throat> Intuitive nudges. Let me get this in the light so I can see. Intuition is the language of the soul. We are all here aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us, sorry guys, I can't see, which keeps us connected to the highest realms and to the inner self 
into the one divine spirit. That was beautiful. This is what the back looks like. Blue, yellow, butterflies. I like how he has that eye on the top of his head. And I'm feeling to do, uh, as I'm going to bring this to a close, I want to do uh, one last smoke clearing. I'm going to be using Palo Santo. I've not been used, have not used that in quite a while either. So I hope you guys are able to enjoy this video. It is slightly different than what I normally do and I was or am a little nervous about this. But anytime we do something new or different, we're always a little bit uneasy. This was a fun experience for me. I learned a lot of things from doing it this way. I'm going to try not to edit so much like I normally do. Uh, I just I like the editing because it's very clean and neat and also it doesn't take up a lot of your time because I know many of you are busy and you don't have the time to sit around and watch videos all day so when I create the little five six seven ten minute bite-sized videos I do that to help you with your time and consideration of your time. So I hope you're feeling lighter and more relaxed. If you're getting ready for bed, hopefully this will help you drift off. I know I still need to do work on uh, more calming and relaxing videos. My energy tends to be more up as is the backgrounds i normally use bright and colorful and i know that might not be uh, the best thing before bed so please let me know how you like this video and if i should continue to do more like this and which name did you prefer do you like the best that i came up with Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you're able to enjoy this video and receive the benefits of the work. I truly and deeply appreciate you so very much. Thank you for your continued love and support. Until my next video, there's so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Sad moments.